What's up everyone, my name is Dylan from Gunspot.com and in this video I'm here for the Armory Life and today we're going to be doing a holster roundup. In short, I'm going to be showing you 11 holster options for the Springfield Armory Prodigy line of pistols. If you are unfamiliar with the Prodigy line of pistols from Springfield Armory, they are double stack 1911 pistols chambered in 9mm. Every model comes with optics ready slides and they do have a five inch version, which is the one right here, as you can see with the RMR on top, and then the four and a quarter version right here. We're gonna be running through these holsters really quick today, but there are a few blanket statements that I wanted to go ahead and make before we get into the holsters. First of all, every single holster we're going to talk about today is optics compatible, meaning if you have a red dot mounted on your slide, it will fit and seat properly in the holster. Why? Well, it's probably because all of the Prodigy pistols are sold with optics ready slides. The other thing that I wanted to point out is that every holster we cover that works for the five inch version will technically work for the four and a quarter inch version as well. It would just be that the holster is long enough to accommodate the five inch. So if there's a five inch Prodigy holster that you like, and perhaps there's not a four and a quarter available, and you have the four and a quarter model, it would work and it would still be safe. Most holsters have tension built around the trigger guard, so there's no safety issue. Okay, let's get going with our first holster. The first holster up is the Black Point Tactical MU holster. The MU is a new line of multi-use outside the waistband holster. The holster is a Kydex fold-over holster with an adjustable retention. It comes with two belt loops and a separate paddle attachment. I love Kydex holsters such as this, and I love being able to set my retention easily by tightening some screws. There are versions of this holster for both the five inch, the four and a quarter inch Prodigy, and there's also one available for the five inch Prodigy with a mounted Surefire X300. The next holster in our roundup is the DeSantis Mini Scabbard. This holster is available only for the four and a quarter Prodigy version. It is an outside the waistband holster with a leather finish. This holster is reduced down to the barest of essentials, but it is still very secure. That's all because it has adjustable retention and exact molding. It's a sleek looking minimalist outside the waistband carry option for your Prodigy. Holster number three is our first inside the waistband holster that we've talked about. It is the DeSantis inside heat holster. This is again exclusively available for the four and a quarter inch version of the Prodigy. This holster has a comfortable smooth leather exterior with a precise mold that contours to the pistol. This holster has a very minimal footprint which is going to be comfortable when it's tucked in your waistband. The holster has one metal wide belt clip that secures it to your belt. Holster number four comes to us from Crossbreed Holsters. It is the Rogue, available for the five inch and the four and a quarter versions of the Prodigy. Both of these holsters are very easy on the eyes and offer adjustable retention on its fully Kydex body, which might seem a little unusual since Crossbreed is known for hybrid leather and Kydex holsters. This holster includes tons of versatility. For example, it shipped as an outside the waistband holster, but you will notice the drilled holes on the front enable you to switch it out into an inside the waistband carry option. One of the best parts of this holster is it has a satisfying snap as your pistol seats into the holster, ensuring a secure fit. For number five, we're gonna firmly step outside the waistband to talk about the CompTAC International Holster. Out of all the holsters so far, this is our biggest outside the waistband holster with tons of options, including three different mount options. A belt slide that can adjust to different belt widths, a paddle attachment that works well for a variety of pant and belt setups, and a drop offset option. We chose to run this holster with the drop offset option. The holster can adjust its cant with eight different mounting holes. You can get the perfect desired cant for your draw. This holster is also made out of the thickest material so far. This holster works with both five inch and four and a quarter Prodigy pistols. Holster number six is the DeSantis Speed Scabbard. This one comes in both five inch and four and a quarter versions. This has a sleek leather appearance with an adjustable tension screw to dial your retention in just the way that you want it. This holster has three different one and three quarter belt slots so you can run the holster with or without a can. This holster has good retention without adding the extra step in security of a thumb brake. Speaking of thumb brake, if you want a leather holster with one, you'll want to check out this next holster, number seven, which is the DeSantis Thumb Brake Scabbard. This holster is almost the exact same as the previous holster, with the same belt loops, capable of a cant and great retention. But now it includes a thumb brake that adds an extra layer of security of keeping the pistol in place. Again, you will see this holster available for both four and a quarter and five inch versions of the Prodigy. 
With holster number eight, we're going to jump back into the waistband with the DeSantis Slim Tuck Ambidextrous Holster. That's right, this holster that is for the four and a quarter inch version of the Prodigy pistol is an ambidextrous holster. All you have to do is flip the belt clip around to whichever side you'd prefer to carry it on. This is an extremely minimalistic Kydex holster that seems to be best suited for the appendix carry position. The retention is adjustable and like our previous holsters, a perfect snap into place is heard when this gun fits in the holster. Holster number nine is another fantastic outside the waistband option, the DeSantis Kazuto. This one comes with a belt slide and a paddle attachment. It is another holster made out of thicker Kydex that's well suited for outside the waistband carry. It has loops that fit one and three quarter inch belts. This holster is long enough to fit the five inch model, but of course it would work for the four and a quarter also. Our second to last holster is the Crossbreed Reckoning Holster. This holster will probably look familiar to you due to its recognizable hybrid Kydex and leather design. It is an inside the waistband holster available for both four and a quarter and five inch Prodigy pistols. The holster has dual metal clips so that the weight of the Prodigy doesn't cause the holster to cant inside the waistband. The holster can be worn in the strong side, appendix, or the cross draw positions. The leather backing provides you with a comfortable surface against your body as you carry. Our last holster is the DeSantis Veiled Partner Holster. This Kydex holster is an outside the waistband holster that seems perfect for outside the waistband concealed carry. This holster is long enough to accommodate the five inch Prodigy, but again, it would work for the four and a quarter inch version. The loops work with one and three quarter inch belts and you can adjust for both height and cant by flipping the loops around. This holster hugs tight to the body because it has flat loops. This is going to aid in the concealability of this outside the waistband holster. Okay, those are just 11 options for the Prodigy pistols. You can find all of those mentioned in the bottom of this video, in the bottom of the article below. All of these holsters are sold on Springfield Armory store. So if you just bought a Prodigy and you're looking for a holster, look no further, you can get a good selection right there. And there are many more that we didn't talk about. So make sure you go over there and check it out. Guys, that's it for this video. I wanna thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.